Ladies, can I take you to the video of Epic Proportions? No, but COD Gameplay can, and he will. And I will too. So will you? I hope so. I know so. Dualcom? Okay. What's up guys, COD Gameplay here, and as you heard by the intro, I am with one of my friends, Delta Kanakian. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hey guys, my name is Delta Kanakian. Uh, I make videos and post them on YouTube, and I don't just play Call of Duty, I play a lot of stuff. But this is some Call of Duty since we are on Call Gameplay's channel. I know you guys are going to freak out otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that intro was awesome. That was actually the first time I heard that intro. He's like, okay, I got this. I'm going to do an epic intro. And I'm like, okay, okay. And what does he do? Starts off with an Old Spice epic intro of epic proportions. Yeah, that was awesome. That's, that, that's going up there. I've got a few of these. I've done one to dual com with one of my friends where I... Uh, he he had no idea it was coming. He didn't even know that he had the, completely no idea. He thought I was just going to start off normally, and I came out with that. And he was just it was actually hilarious. <laughs> okay, so the first topic we have is about Modern Warfare Three. Uh, you want to start us off on that? Uh, yeah. The there's kind of a, this is going to be interesting because as I guess reports slash rumors have it, there's going to be three development teams working on the game. Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer Games are handling the single-player campaign, which interests me for two reasons, because with two teams working on it, A, you could get a longer campaign, and B, the head guys at Sledgehammer Games worked at Visceral Games and created the first Dead Space, which is one of my favorite all-time games. So that, that interests me. However, what worries me is Raven Software is handling the multiplayer, and if anyone played, I know a lot of people like Singularity, and I think some people like Wolfenstein, but to be honest, their net code, their, the way they, the multiplayer was set up was awful, and I know I'm not the only one that thinks that either. Um, my experience with both those games was getting into a match right away, rubber band lagging around for 10 seconds, getting disconnected, and then never being able to connect to a match again. I'd literally, I'd plug my controller in so it didn't die, the battery. And I'd just hit matchmaking, and I'd sit there for half an hour and watch. Wow. Yeah, see, I've never actually played Wolfenstein. I'm just more of a Call of Duty player. I play some other games, but um, Call of Duty servers are actually pretty good. Starting out, usually on, like, uh, Black Ops, it was pretty bad, like, the first maybe two weeks. But yeah. it got better, and I, I would hate it to see it being, like, the first two weeks of Black Ops for, like, the whole oh, God, time. Oh, dude, if you thought the first two weeks of Black Ops were bad... You're gonna be praying for that oh, geez. with Raven, unless they unless they somehow step up their game after a year and blow my freaking mind. You don't. It's just it's gonna be a mess. It's gonna be a failure. Yeah, we're gonna and, have to hope that they actually have uh, the smarts to put in okay servers that will yeah. uh, hold it. And also, they're not just doing the servers; they're doing everything. Yeah, all the multiplayer, right? Although they do have the the engine, they do have the Call of Duty engine, which is given to them by yeah, they Activision. Have, they have the engine instead of running on Unreal. And don't <coughs> sorry, don't get me wrong. Unreal Engine Three is a really good engine, but the thing is, you see a lot of the first person shooters r that come out using that engine, and unless they're actually being done by e Epic Games themselves, they're just a, a lower tier, a lower quality in graphics, gameplay, etc. It's just all the same. Whereas Epic Games, they're the only ones that can really utilize it to its fullest extent. Yeah. So, uh, do you have any other things you want to talk about on uh, multiplayer? Um, yeah, I guess. I just hope, you know, if, if this rumor is in fact true, and it's been around for a while that the ACR is going to be back, just make it like the ACR on Homefront. It's got fairly high damage compared to some of the other assault rifles. Like, it's the more higher-powered but it uh, less accurate, good amount of recoil, and it's just a balanced gun. And uh, you know, that's the, for the first week after I had Homefront, I'd be going around just kind of joking about that, saying, "Oh my God, the ACR has recoil! Oh my God!" And it, you know, it was, it was funny, obviously, but you know, seriously, it has recoil. So that's yeah, one thing. They're gonna have to make it uh, balanced between guns, but then again, balanced between guns does not make a perfect amazing game because yeah. of uh, Black Ops yeah. is a perfect example of that yeah. but it's, I think it's a damn near perfectly balanced game and yeah Ghost is a little iffy but think about think about this go play hell I might even say the uh, the the cloak the marksman's cloak and kill zone is worse and god the cloak and crisis is don't even get me started on that please don't 
yeah, I'm hoping that they come up with a lot of guns because guns are things that uh, get me to keep on playing because I always like using different guns. I don't like using the same guns over and over, so hopefully they come up with lots of guns and uh, hopefully the graphics are up to par with uh, Black Ops and Modern for 2. If they aren't, uh, so be it, but I'd rather have better gameplay than uh, better gla- graphics in my opinion. Yeah, well, there's a fine line. If you you can have uh, like kind of lower graphics than other games, but you have to keep it at a certain point just so it's on par with others. And as you know, it's going right now. We're switching into another gameplay since we're talking for a while. Um, you know, it's just a thing where you have to have that balance. And like you were saying with Black Ops, we got you know it's almost a perfectly balanced game. And I'm repeating myself, but it even you have to have some of that fun factor. Like I rag on Modern Warfare 2 all the time. But I go back in, and I've recently I've been playing it just in full parties in Search and Destroy. And you have so much fun just screwing around, right? And I think the big thing they have to do is go back to how statistics were taken in COD 4 and World at War. You could only see people's statistics if A, they were on your friends list, and B, they were online, at least on the PS3. And what, what that happens is you don't have people thinking, oh, everyone can see my kill-death ratio, everyone can see my win-loss. Well, win-loss, nothing wrong with that. But my kill death ratio, I have to sit and kill whores so it looks awesome. When, so when people look at me, like in the lobby, they'll be scared of me because I'm so good, right? Yeah, when I started out on uh, Black Ops, I'm like, okay, I gotta get my KD up to like 2. I wanna be awesome KD. I wanna just like destroy. And now, honestly, I could give two shits about my KD. It was, it was at 2.25 for some time. And then I just tried sniping, going like insane 360 no scopes. And, uh,. Now I think it's at like two exactly. I don't even care. Like if your yeah. KD is one, cool. If your KD is four, good for you. But like, yeah. uh, it's it's about having fun in the game, really. Yeah, that's that's the thing. It's got people t- caring way too much, and they rage because of that. And I know I rage because of that, because I don't rage on the old Call of Duties anymore. Because in Call of Duty, World at War, and COD Four, I never gave a shit about my stats in the first place. I'm rocking the point eight nine kill death on COD Four, um, but. You just have so much fun, because that's not a worry. You're not thinking, oh, shit, oh, I need gameplay, I need to get this amazing kill, whatever. It's just like, go in, have fun. Like, if if you guys go and check out my channel, you'll see coming up soon, I'm going to be posting Modern Warfare 2 videos, like five or six of them, live calm, open mic on Modern Warfare 2 Search and Destroy, where we're all running around with frickin' riot shields. Yeah, riot shields are absolutely amazing. But I think we've talked uh, probably enough about multiplayer what do you yeah you're, you're like the single player master you're like the uh developer know how yeah. you know everything so yeah. um w- what about the single player i haven't heard a ton about it but uh you, um, you know a bit the only thing i've really heard so far is that modern warfare 3 is actually going to be a prequel and it's going to be following ghost storyline which is um kind of a positive and a negative it's a positive because ghost is a fan favorite everyone wants to see what's up with him but it's kind of a negative because that cliffhanger ending at the end of Modern Warfare 2 and now not getting it, it's just kind of a big, like, fuck you, right? Yeah, I really never played the campaign of Modern Warfare 2 or Black Ops because I'm just, like, a multiplayer person. But I'm thinking maybe to go back to it just to see how it is. And then if Modern Warfare 3 is a good campaign as well, it'll kind of give me a uh, know-how of what it's looking coming into the actual scene yeah. of Modern Warfare 3. Instead of going into the campaign of Modern for 3 and not knowing anything about it, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, if it is indeed a prequel starring Ghost, you just kind of need to know Ghost. Ghost doesn't even have much of a backstory, you just know he's kind of a badass. So, I don't know how much they'll tie the Modern Warfare 2 story into it and the COD 4 story into it, but what I'm hoping for right now is that with two teams working on it, you'll get... Um, like a longer story, something up to like 10 hours. And I know they say it's going to be 8 to 10 hours, but that's bullshit. You can blow through it in 4 hours. Um, and then better better pacing overall. That's the big thing for me. With Black Ops Modern Warfare 2, you're just kind of like... It, it's all action all the time, and by the time you get to the end of it, you're just exhausted. You're like, oh, thank God, it's over, right? Yeah. With, a game, with other games that have really good pacing and slow things down and let you kind of look at the environment and like fill yourself in on the story you get to the end of it and you're wanting more yeah that's the way how campaigns should be they should be 
wanting more after the end. They want, you should be wanting to have the next game just to finish that campaign if there is like a cliffhanger like Modern for 2. And uh, yeah, what do you think is the best campaign for Call of Duty that you played? Um, Black Ops. Oh, I haven't played anything pre COD 3, right? That was my first Call of Duty, so I don't know how the original COD will. I, I played like a couple levels of the original COD. Uh, never played COD 2. But Black Ops, simply because all of them, you know, not particularly well paced, more the fast paced. COD 4 was probably the close to getting it right of all the ones I played. Black Ops was that non stop pace. But the thing is, its story was probably the strongest of all the Call of Duty games. And it was one that I finished, and I wasn't so much looking forward to getting into playing more as I was figuring out more of the story. What is going on here, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, I think we're actually probably coming up to time. Yeah, we're over our time limit, I think. Yeah, we are. So we're going to second game, and we've already... Past the second game. Yeah, we were, we passed the second. We're okay. Looking at like a picture of a cat right now. Or something. <laughs> I'll get something good. Okay, well, that is the end of it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, go check out his channel. It doesn't hurt. Go check it out. And if you like it, subscribe. Any last words? Um, yeah, if you're going to head to my channel, you can expect Call of Duty. My big thing for Call of Duty is the mystery box where you give me a class. I try to play free for all or whatever game mode you choose with it. And I'll record live commentary, and I tend to fail at that. So that's usually a lot of fun, unless I'm really raging. Sometimes that happens. Uh, but other than that, I'll be posting, I don't know, Killzone, Homefront, really whatever I'm feeling like playing, right? Yeah. Whatever's entertaining. If you're looking for a variety of games, a variety of gameplay, and a variety of uh, commentary, uh, go check out his channel. So, yeah. see you guys. See you guys. See ya. Woohoo. Yeah. <laughs> That intro will make it alone. <laughs>